He amazed all the men of the city and outsiders who happened to see it by virtue of its new and beautiful appearance. With these words, Antonio Manetti, Filippo Brunelleschi's friend and biographer, described his contemporaries' awe in the face of the distribution of spaces in the sacristy designed by the great master. It should come as no surprise. The sacristy is one of the finest outcomes of Brunelleschi's study of square plan buildings. The architectural layout is designed according to a rational and rigorous scheme based on the module of the circle inscribed in the square, found in the planimetry, in the prospectus and in the scarsella. Viewed in section, the space is divided into three parts of equal height. The first, which reaches into the cornice under the arches, the second, with the large arches, tondos, windows, and pendentives, and the third consisting of the main cupola. Light filters in through 12 round windows situated at the base of the drum, and through the central eye, which alludes to divine light. The overall harmony of the sacristy, which came to be known as the Old Sacristy after Michelangelo designed another one, symmetrical to and inspired by Brunelleschi's work, made it the core of the architect's intervention and the model for a series of family chapels. And it was thanks to this first work that Brunelleschi won the commission to remodel the complex. In the same years in which the chapter of San Lorenzo was looking for funds to enlarge the church, Giovanni di Bici, the man who originally founded the Medici fortunes, turned to Brunelleschi, by then the city's best-known architect, for his family chapel. The design presented to him already contemplated the idea of a new transept, Giovanni was enthusiastic about Brunelleschi's ideas and decided to finance all the work. The work was completed in 1428 and Giovanni di Bici's funeral was celebrated there the following year for the exorbitant sum of around 3,000 gold florins. <laughs>